Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things narcissism. This video is going to be about some behaviours from a narcissistic person that's going to get under your skin, that's going to irritate you, that's going to frustrate you, that's going to provoke those feelings of anger and resentment within you. We're all human, we're all capable of irritating another person. Most genuine people go all out to try and avoid offending others, avoid upsetting others because they know how they don't like being upset within themselves. Most genuine people have the empathy to care for other people. Most genuine people have object constancy to still care about the other person even when there, there is conflict or disagreements or distance. When it comes to narcissistic people, they're envious of other people's happiness. Therefore, they often seek to bring everyone else crashing down to feel better about themselves. They have all the arrogance without the competence. Therefore, they seek to destroy what other people have achieved or criticise, mock, judge what other people have done to feel better about their own lack of ability. Rather than working to improve themselves, to become a better person, they'd rather work on destroying those around them. Therefore, when it comes to dealing with a narcissist, one of the most frustrating things is they create a competition in almost everything that they do. And when it comes to two people working together, whether you are in an intimate relationship, if it's your partner, your parent, your sibling, a co-worker, a child, a friend, when it comes to two people working together, the idea is to come together to make life easier. It's not to win or outdo or be better than the other person. It's to learn and see things from another person's perspective, even if you don't agree with them, just to see it from another person's point of view. Narcissistic people are not going to see anything from your point of view. Narcissistic people create competitions for them to win and you cannot win with a narcissist because they will forever change the goalposts. Whatever you got right one day will be wrong the next day. They train you to rely upon them so that you don't abandon them. And then once you rely upon them and ask them for something, they claim that you're asking for too much. Yet if you stop asking them, they're going to quiz you as to who you're asking instead because they don't want you to be independent. However, they don't want you to de be dependent on them. When it comes to a topic of conversation, they're not interested in your perspective. They're interested in being right. And by them being right, they're going to go all out to make you out to be in the wrong. So another frustrating thing about a narcissistic person is they will just not listen to you which can cause us to interrupt them. It can cause us to raise our voice. It can cause us to slam doors. It can cause that frustration within us that they just will not listen to our side, to our point of view, especially as we have listened to theirs. What we have to recognise is when someone is not interested in listening to us, we have to stop talking to them. We have to recognise that being around that person causes that frustration and that anger and that resentment within us and distance ourselves from them, recognise who they are as a person and the things that they do and no longer play their games. Another frustrating thing a narcissistic person will do that's going to annoy you is not answer a simple question. And it can be something... So, so simple such as what would you like for dinner tonight oh I don't know you decide so you decide and then they come home and well what have you made that for I thought you knew me better than that yet if you don't ask them they're going to come home and say why didn't you ask me if you do ask them they're going to be too busy so what you're doing bugging them over 
simple things. You cannot win with them and they will refuse to answer the most simple questions because it's their cheap thrill. It's their way of remaining in control. Narcissistic people are like little two-year-olds that haven't learned to communicate with others and they really enjoy knowing something that you don't know when it comes to somebody's special occasion and you're trying to work the day out and ask them what time they're setting off. It's not because they're busy, so they turn around and say, well, I'm busy, I'm not sure, I'll let you know near the time. And then they tr attempt to let you know. They do all they can to leave you out of the loop so that you're left wondering what on earth is happening. Narcissistic people feel entitled to do as they please. They feel... They believe they are special, they believe they're superior, therefore they don't believe any questions are needed from you and then they don't believe they need to answer any questions to you. When you do try to communicate with them and they're not willing to listen to you, they're not willing to answer that question, they're creating those competitions to win, another thing they will do is just wander off humming and singing away to themselves which is frustrating when you're trying to communicate with someone and they just start walking off humming to themselves. Or when you, you're you busy doing something, they'll be watching you and they'll just start tutting like you're doing something wrong. And if you ask them what you're doing wrong, they're going to accuse you of attacking them because they're sat there minding their own business, even though they're sat there watching you and tutting away at you. When you do try to have that communication with them, they will often start to interrupt you. If you try to share some good news with them, they're not interested in your good news. They're interested in outdoing you. So they will interrupt you so that you can not say what you need to say. If they've hurt your feelings in some way, most genuine people, you can go and communicate with them and explain and work together to gain a greater understanding and a greater awareness of each other and each other's needs. With a narcissistic person, they listen to what can hurt you, and then they go all out to use that against you to hurt you all the more. It's very frustrating when you cannot get your point of view across because they're interrupting you or they're talking over you or they're doing all they can to control the conversation to go their way. Narcissistic people would rather impress a stranger than care for their own family. When you have someone who claims to love and care about you, love and care about your children, and then they up and leave and abandon you and abandon their children, they give you that false hope and then they up and leave. And then you see them with a stranger's child. It's going to cause that resentment within you, especially if they're your children with that narcissistic person. When you're out and they're ignoring you and ignoring those around you and ignoring family members and impressing strangers, it's going to cause that frustration. When you're at a special occasion and they didn't want to go, they cause an argument before you leave, they don't give you any information on what time, they invalidate how you look, they pull you down, they cause an argument in the car journey there or they turn up the radio so that you cannot communicate with them. They play so many mind games to get you down and by the time you arrive you're all negative and feeling low and then they go off like the life and the soul of the party with their charismatic charm telling everybody how well they'd they'd love to come out more but look what they have to put up with look at the kind of mood you're in you didn't really want to go so the next time there's a special occasion they can turn around and claim that you're the one that doesn't want to go so when they're there they will be happily talking to complete strangers while ignoring you. Yet if you then start communicating with somebody, they're going to come over and start attacking you. What are you talking to them for? Do you prefer them to me? Who are you flirting with them? What are you up to? Have you met up with them before? And they're going to start throwing out those unjust accusations towards you. Yet if you mention them and what they're doing with their charismatic charm, they're going to just turn around and say, you're jealous, you're too hung up on your past. When you cannot just have a simple conversation with somebody, it's very, very draining. Another thing they will do is 
rewrite history on you. So they will just turn around and say, I wasn't doing that. That never happened. You're imagining things. I never said that. And when history is constantly being rewritten on you, it's a very confusing place to be. A bit like the fact that they have to know everything. They are a know-it-all. So whenever you try to state somebody else's perspective, somebody else's point of view, they're going to bring it crashing down. When they're envious of somebody, when they see something that somebody else has got, so they bring something up that's completely irrelevant to discredit that person, to pull that person down. They'll accuse that person of being up to no good. They'll do all sorts, just, and it's completely irrelevant to the topic at hand. It's the narcissist envy of that person. When you try to point out a different perspective, a different approach, the narcissist is going to shut you down because they already know everything. Another frustrating behaviour of a narcissistic person is they always have to be right. They will never admit to being in the wrong. They will never apologise. They're not interested in recognising their behaviour. They're interested in getting away with their behaviour. Another strange behaviour of a narcissist that's going to get under your skin is their odd gift-giving behaviour. Again, you cannot win with a narcissistic person. They might be the kind of narcissist that tells you not to bother getting them anything. Don't bother wasting your money because they're not going to waste it. If they'll leave a list lying around of things that they would like, and then when you get something off that list, it's going to be wrong in some way. It's going to be the wrong make or the wrong model, even though you followed the list to a T, because they've seen somebody else with something they perceive to be better. Or they might go out and spoil you. However, they spoil you with things that you have no interest in whatsoever, yet things that they enjoy. If you try to say this to them because you are naturally going to be slightly disappointed, so you might say this to them and they're just going to turn around and accuse you of being the ungrateful one. You are literally banging your head against a brick wall when you are trying to discuss anything of any importance or of any relevance to you or to the relationship you have with that person because they are not interested. They're interested in watching you go crazy, trying to prove your point of view, trying to get them to see what they're doing to you so that they can stand back and claim that you're the one with all the issues and there's nothing wrong with them because they fail to communicate. They're like that toddler that hasn't learned to communicate. They just go around throwing various tantrums in order to get their own way. They're not interested in listening to other people. They're interested in doing what they want to do. And they will happily ignore those who they don't believe are serving them. There are plenty of behaviours narcissistic people display which are naturally going to get under your skin and irritate you and potentially cause you to react to them. The main one is the fact that they want to win and they want to win at all costs to you. Any that you noticed? please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.